mindfulness of feelings. In this meditation, we will explore the three kinds of feelings. Initially, we check the posture, the straight spine, sitting tall. This contributes to presence, to the sense of being awake and alert. Feelings play a significant part in life, obviously. Strength of feelings can have a significant impact on the body. When we feel lots of love, we're in love. It can flow through the cells. Happiness, expansiveness, joyfulness, a certain lightness. If we feel rather down, heavy, feelings of pressure, This impacts also on our physical life as well. The spine begins to bend. We begin to slump. The head drops down. We feel low. We feel depressed. We feel contracted. Mindfulness of breathing is one of the four great areas of mindfulness along with body including breath, the range of states of mind and the dharma of the inner and the outer. So just sitting being present and being in touch with what we feel right now. Perhaps we feel glad for the opportunity for mindfulness of breathing for some time for, to be in touch with ourselves, to experience some stillness. So we recognize the feeling right now of appreciation, of interest, of curiosity, of presence. So the pleasant feeling, one of the three primary feelings, is influencing us right now. Appreciation, gladness, interest, opportunity. Just to be still, just to feel. We are human beings and that means we are human feelings. Perhaps what we are feeling right now is unpleasant, is painful. Perhaps 
perhaps there is a lot of stress emerging as we sit still. Perhaps we're feeling exhausted or irritable. Or feeling negative about ourselves or any event in the recent past or what might happen. Right now, just feel this feeling. Without the story. Without the views. Feeling the painful feeling, the stress, the tension, the negativity. Relaxing into this. Not denying. Not wanting it to go away, which only feeds it. Just to be with this feeling, painful feeling. Anxious feeling, stressful feeling, negative feeling. Is it as difficult as we imagine? Perhaps it is. Perhaps it isn't. Now turning the mindfulness to that feeling between the pleasant and the painful. The feeling that it's neither one nor the other. Just a bare feeling. Nothing specially pleasant about it. But nothing painful about it either. Just resting in a rather neutral feeling, neither one th way nor the other. Not seeing it as a problem, just how it is right now. If we react against this everyday human feeling, we might find ourselves running after some pleasurable experience to get away from it. Learning to be intimate with the important feeling in between. If we react against this feeling, we might start looking for something to worry about, to have a painful feeling about, or get angry or fearful about, to escape. Just being with this feeling which is neither pleasant nor painful. So we can stay steady with this feeling, feel it.
being mindful that boredom can come from rejecting this feeling. Tiredness can come. Apathy, indifference, unsatisfactory states of mind come through a rejection of this feeling. But through this feeling as well can come much clarity. A creative energy. Fresh insight. So mindfulness of feeling includes the pleasant feelings, happiness, joy, gratitude, appreciation, deep meditation, generosity, kindness, love, compassion, serenity, calmness, quietitude of the being, huge range of precious and important feelings for humans. The unpleasant feelings and the painful ones, the stress and the tension. Recognizing those feelings Recognizing as well the great value and importance of feelings which are unsatisfactory, which generate dissatisfaction, which bring us to, in, to action. Sometimes we feel very concerned about something, dissatisfied. We feel troubled by what we know and what we hear. We feel some anguish over what's going on. So from the foundation of the unpleasant, the painful feelings can come wise action, a compassionate movement the determination to find skillful ways to make change without inflicting more suffering on others. Mindful human beings. Mindful of the pleasant and of the pleasurable experience without clinging, without blind pursuit, without running after and being a slave to pleasurable sensations. mindful of those experiences neither pleasant nor painful and resting with those trusting in them seeing what comes through such experience mindful of the difficult feelings what shows a problematic state of mind, what shows the need for change, actions and steps to be taken.
And finally, remembering. Feelings can be described as conventional, everyday, but also spiritual, mystical, religious, a sense of wonder, of mystery, of deep experiences, of experiences expanding consciousness, of revealing oneness and intimacy, of a perception free from clinging to dualities, of for and against, pleasurable and painful. Recognizing the place of these feelings in life. What gives support to them? Do we have these kind of feelings? What nourishes? human being with a rich inner life loves to explore the world of feelings. freedom to feel, the freedom to allow feelings to fade, the freedom for feelings to be present and the freedom for feelings not to be present. May all beings be mindful of feelings and their changing appearances. May all beings live with clarity and connection with the feeling experience. May all beings live with love and liberation.